What's up guys, Andrew Bainey here, and on today's video, we are gonna be talking about the Fret Zealot Guitar Learning System. It may shock some of you to know, but I actually know nothing about guitar, or you're gonna watch this and be like, oh, that makes complete sense, and that's why you only play breakdowns. But either way, basically, I don't know any music theory at all, so this is a very cool thing for me to be checking out because it's basically like a hack for guitar. Whether you're new to guitar and you've never played before, this can totally teach you how to play guitar from a beginner standpoint. Or if you're like me and you've been playing guitar for a long time but you don't actually know what you're doing, this is going to be a very useful tool for writing. I do want to note that this video is sponsored by Fret Zealot and you can find more information about it in the description below or in the pinned comment. I'm going to be talking about all the features of this system but first and foremost I'm going to show you guys a little clip of a song that I wrote using the Fret Zealot and it sounds like this. So that was a little clip I wrote in D major in drop D tuning. Now I'm going to be talking about the Fred Zealot system starting with how to install it and how it works. So basically how the Fred Zealot works is it's essentially a giant sticker that covers the side of the fretboard and just below each fret. Uh, each strip has six LEDs, one for each string. They're all multi-colored LEDs, so they can obviously change to a bunch of different colors, as you can see right now. Uh, the install process is pretty easy. I'm gonna overlay it during this part where I'm talking so you can see what I did. But essentially, you just peel off the back of the adhesive and stick it to your guitar one fret at a time. It does come in 25 and a half inch scale or 24.75 inch scale. So you can get whichever one uh, corresponds to your guitar. In my case, I'm using the 25 and a half inch scale one because obviously that matches this guitar. So as you can see, these LED strips go all the way up to the 14th fret and then they stop. So it does not go all the way up to the 24th fret, obviously, but that doesn't really matter because everything you learn up to the 14th fret can be transposed higher because it's the same thing. It's just add a 12. So if you're playing like the two, it would be the same as the 14 and so on and so forth. So basically once you install the sticker portion of the system, there's also this capo looking thing that you can see. Uh, this is just a pretty much a normal capo and there's got this battery pack attached to it. This is a USB rechargeable battery pack and of course it also comes with the charger and then basically you just plug it into the LED strip right there. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I think it took me like 10 minutes or less to do this. Um, you technically can keep your strings on the guitar and just loosen them but I just took the strings off and put new strings on after since I found that way easier. So once you have the system installed, you need to install the Fret Zealot app. And basically that app just connects to the system just using Bluetooth. Very, very easy. You just turn on the app, click scan. It should auto detect your Fret Zealot and then you're good to go. Okay, so once you have the app installed and your device connected, there are tons of different things you can do. We'll start off with the most easy to explain one. If we go to this fun section, this is basically where you get your light show effects like the rainbow, which I was showing you guys earlier, which looks like that. You can also do random, which will just generate a random lighting effect, like so. It'll be different every time. Like that. Pretty cool stuff, so I guess if you only have one guitar and you aren't actually using the system, you can use this to have some kind of cool effects. Maybe it would look cool on stage with your band or something like that. Lots of cool stuff there. Sparkler, Rainbow. Rainbow is probably the coolest looking one in my opinion. All right, so now we're gonna go to the main menu. Next up, we're gonna go to the learn section. And this is where stuff starts to get very, very interesting. So as you can see, we have chords, notes and scales, lessons and partner apps. So let's go to chords. So as you can see here, when you go to the chords section, basically there's this scroll wheel at the top where you can pick your root note, your chord and your voicing and then it essentially lights up the exact frets you need to play on the guitar. So as you can see here, there's red on the string you're not supposed to play, and then there's yellow, green, blue, and uh, lighter blue or white, I can't really tell. And also, as you can see on the screen, there's even a guide on which finger corresponds to which color. So blue being your pointer finger, green middle finger, yellow is your ring finger, and then pink is for your pinky. Pretty cool stuff. It's kind of like playing Guitar Hero in real life. So as you can see, if we scroll through here, if we go to C sharp, major, the LEDs will change accordingly so that you can play that chord, or you could do a minor, minor seventh, minor major seventh, 
so on and so forth. Lots of options here. All right, next up, we're gonna move on to the notes and scales portion. This is personally my favorite section of the app because this is where I find that this really shines. From my perspective, again, which is coming from someone who knows how to play guitar but doesn't really know about notes or scales or theory at all, I found this incredibly useful. As I mentioned earlier, that little clip that I played, I wrote in D major using this app. So essentially what I did was I just scrolled down to D major and then that lit up all of the corresponding lights that are within this scale. And that's how I was able to write that little lick that I wrote earlier. So I personally find this incredibly useful from a songwriting perspective because it gives me kind of a framework of where I can play notes, which obviously if you know scales at all, you would already know that. But for me, since I don't know scales, this is literally a visual representation of what you can and should not play, at least when it comes to if you want to stick within the scale, obviously you can change keys and all that. But that's even more beyond my uh, realm of knowledge at this point in time. And of course, there's tons of different modes and scales within here. So there's even some weird ones like harmonic minor. And you, again, I'm sticking to D because this guitar is in drop D. But of course, you can also go like E, G, whichever note you want as your root note. Very, very cool stuff. Next up, we have the lessons section, and these are actually full-on lessons where you can fully learn how to play guitar from the ground up. So as you can see here, when you go to the lessons, you will see which lessons you currently have installed. It comes with a few for free. Uh, so let's see what Justin Guitar is. So I guess it's got beginner, beginner songs, and intermediate. So let's go beginner songs, stage one. And then basically, there's gonna be all these songs which they will teach you how to play. So. Let's see how that sounds. Let's go Three Little Birds, Bob Marley. Let's see what this is all about. So as you can see, basically the frets light up in correspondence with what the guy is playing in the lesson. So if you wanna learn some easy songs, you can do this. It's basically having like a real life guitar hero, guitar pro situation on your fretboard in real time. Okay, next up we are gonna move on to the play subcategory. So this is another place where things get interesting. It actually has a built-in tuner, which is pretty good. If you don't have a tuner on hand, you can tune using your phone's microphone. Um, but the good thing about this is you can also change your tuning. So this was something I was very happy to see because I never play an E standard. So it's very cool that I was able to switch it to drop D or you could do uh, what else we got here? You can drop A even. Um, and I guess obviously in my case, I would have to like pitch shift to get down there, but pretty cool stuff. So I'm normally writing in drop A on a seven string guitar. So this is kind of a really cool way where I can visually see scales within a tuning that I'm familiar with instead of learning everything on a totally different tuning that I would never normally use. Very, very cool. And then the interesting thing about this as well is now that I've selected drop A, you'll notice if we go back to the learn section, notes and scales, all of these lights will now correspond to whichever tuning you pick. So now it just rearranged all the frets into drop A. So now we can switch over to having the root note of A, and then now we got an A major scale, for example, or major pentatonic, melodic minor, minor pentatonic, so on and so forth. So the other cool thing in the play section is there's actually a library of songs. These are essentially guitar profiles um, there's tons of bands in here. I don't even know how many there are. I feel like there's probably like 70,000 or something like that, uh, including a bunch of metal and hardcore bands as well, which is very cool to see. So it's not just all like Bob Marley and stuff like that. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but if that's not what you're into, it's always more fun to play songs that you actually like, of course. So for example, if we go A Day to Remember, we can see that they've got a bunch of options here. So let's see what, uh, let's see like Dead and Buried. So as you can see here, it gives me a warning because this song is in drop B and I'm tuned to drop D, but I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like if I was in drop B. So let's say cancel. Um, so essentially if I click play, you can see the light flashing over there in correspondence with the song. Obviously this is not the best example because it's all open zeros. Let's fast forward a bit. So let's see, if we fast forward over here. Pretty cool. So again, just an example of what you can do. There's also something called AI mode where basically your phone microphone will actually listen to what you're playing and it'll move the tab along as you play the note. Okay, and last but not least, we're gonna go over to the courses section. So this is essentially a courses subscription service where you can pay $15 a month 
for access to all of the available courses on the online marketplace. This marketplace is constantly adding new courses, so if you are learning guitar from scratch, this might be of interest to you. $15 a month gets you access to all the courses that are in here, and again, they are constantly updating that. So we can take a look at an example here. So I'm gonna go over to my homie, Trey Xavier from Gear Gods. I'm sure you guys know who that is. Let's take a look. So he has this course, which is called Relationships Guitar Scale System. And it says, learn every scale in 60 minutes with Relation Shapes. Let's take a look. So once you go into here, you can see subscribe, which again is the subscription service that I was telling you guys about. Or if you don't wanna pay $15 a month, you can also outright buy course by course. So you can do either one of those. But you can also preview the courses if you would like here. So we can go to lesson one, cracking the code. And let's take a look at what this looks like. So as you can see, when you start the course, your fretboard will go blank because there's nothing happening at this point in time. So I'm just gonna skip ahead a little bit because I don't wanna give away all of Trey's video. But basically, as you go on here, eventually there'll be a point where he tells you what to play on the fretboard and it'll light up for you, like so. Pretty cool. So that pretty much does it for this video. Once again, huge thank you to Fred Zeller for sending this over. I'm really excited to finally learn some scales and chord shapes because it's been a long time that I've put this off. I've always been more of a visual learner. So this is really cool because I literally on the fretboard can see exactly what I can and cannot play, which is perfect for me. I grew up on Guitar Hero and it feels just like playing that. I know I've said that a few times, but I really think it's true. So again, if you guys are interested in learning more about Fred Zellett, Go check them out, their link is in the description below and also in the pinned comment. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was a little bit of a longer one, but I appreciate you sticking with me. I also super appreciate all of my Patreon members whose names are on the screen at this point in time. If you guys ever wanna get audio downloads, stems, or a shout out on the screen, you can get all of that over on my Patreon page. That's all I gotta say for today's video. Once again, thank you to Fred Zellett. Go check him out. Thank you guys for watching. Look forward to reading your comments and I'll see you next time.